Welcome to Culture Wire. I'm your host, Meg Schiffler. On this episode, we're going to take a look at one of the Arts Commission's biggest and most significant public art projects to date. On June 26th, Mayor Gavin Newsom, along with other city and state government officials, gathered at Laguna Hana Hospital to cut the ribbon and welcome the public into its beautiful new state-of-the-art facility. It had been 10 years since voters approved the bond measure for the new building. When the voters passed the bond for Laguna Honda, we had recognized an exciting opportunity to really rethink how art is done in a hospital setting. The Laguna Honda Replacement Program generated approximately $3.9 million in art enrichment funds for a comprehensive public art program that contributes to the quality of life at the hospital by aesthetically enhancing the environment and supporting the hospital's clinical needs and therapeutic goals. 14 local and nationally recognized artists were commissioned to create 100 original works of art for sites within the new facility, as well as for its gardens and courtyard areas. The artwork it does more than just hang on the wall. It uh, was selected and, and designed to uh, help enhance the therapeutic goals of the hospital. Um, those might include wayfinding, uh, sensory stimulation, orientation to time, social interaction. Belize Brothers' large-scale photographic images of brilliantly colored flowers laminated between two layers of glass and set into light boxes create color-filled areas within the hospital. Inspired by nature and the passage of time, Diane Andrews Hall's signature paintings of native San Francisco birds, clouds, and the surface of ocean waves were translated into a variety of media, including glass mosaic and tapestry. Terry Hoff's playful clock installation encourages interaction and memory stimulation among the patients. Owen Smith's series of mosaic murals and relief sculptures use the theme of the four elements as they relate to vocations and are a direct homage to Glenn Wessel's historic WPA-style murals located in the original Laguna Honda building. The Aqua Therapy Center features two large tile walls designed by geometric abstract painter Shione Kim. By observing residents at Laguna Honda using wheelchairs and handrails that line the hospital corridors, Cliff Garten created a public artwork in the form of a handrail. In one of the outdoor courtyards, Jonathan Bonner created a circular grouping of five lathe-turned elliptical granite forms with a smooth honed finish. Reconnection, Recognition by Linnea Glatt features 10 unique button sculptures cast in four different pastel colors that function not only as a place to sit, but also as a kind of touchstone to something recognizable, familiar, and comforting. Another key component of the public art program included an art project that responded directly to the hospital's rich history. Using archival images and artifacts, artist Louis de Soto designed 16 intricately woven tapestries that are an inviting and intimate exploration of significant eras and events that shaped the hospital and its community over time. It also attracts a lot of visitors who are here to see the museum quality uh, art portfolio at Laguna Honda, and they're all um, in awe over the beauty and the history it captures and the variety of mediums used in the artwork here. So it's really the essence of life uh, for the residents and staff at Laguna Honda. Here at Laguna Honda, I think we have given uh, the city of San Francisco and the residents of Laguna Honda an incredible art collection. I really encourage uh, people to come to Laguna Honda to visit the new facility um, and to see the art. For more information about the public art collection at Laguna Honda, visit 
sfartscommission.org slash pub art collection.